Hey guys, Irit Ezips here from CSM Practice. Today I'm actually in Toronto and I'm meeting with Jesse Goldman, VP Customer Success at Influitive. So excited. Me too. Yeah. Hi everyone. And so we just started talking about, you know, how do you create advocacy and promote more customers to be your advocates? And along that way, how can you create better engagement and drive people to use your content? Jesse has actually implemented that program at Influitive and today he's going to share all the big secrets on how that works. So tell me, Jesse, how does your team promote advocacy and turns more customers into advocates? It's a great question and this is something, I mean, it's an ongoing journey. It's something that we're, we continue to work on. Uh, but the key insight that's driving it is the idea that at the end of the day, we want to turn every one of our customers into passionate advocates for our mm -hmm. business. And the way to do that is to ensure that they're getting as much value as possible from our software, from our service, and that they're having an amazing experience working with us. So to do that, what we look at is basically engaging them throughout their journey with the right content, the right time. And it's something we're, we're continuing to implement and we're working on, uh, but what we found is too many organizations just focus on you know, customers that raise their hands. They want to be advocates already. What about the, you know, the remaining customers? And there are a lot of them usually who either don't know that they have an opportunity to advocate, they may not be ready. Mm. So what we're looking at is creating more ways to engage them throughout their life cycle by uh, encouraging more of a gamified experience to consuming content, um, to, to participating in education, and also to sharing with each other. So you can almost think about it as acts of advocacy, uh, but through the journey and at, at the right time for the right person. You may not be ready or willing to raise your hand and publicly you know, share a testimonial, but you might be willing to uh, you know, share some best practices with uh, peers. Got right? it. Um, you, you, you certainly want you know, the how-to guides and things like that. We want to make sure we're surfacing that as effectively as possible so people uh, get what they need and uh, you know, get further along their journey more easily. So I think what I'm hearing you say is that um, for a customer to become an advocate, first and foremost, they need to learn more about your product, understand more of the value that your solution can bring, get engaged with your content to understand better the value proposition, mm -hmm. and then along the way, realize that value and share their findings with their content if they find something that they like with other folks. And that's a level down to actually being an advocate and raising your head and tweeting their horns about you. But yep. that's part of that journey. So now instead of just looking for advocates that are ready to advocate for you, you're also looking for those who are sort of like in the pipeline to become advocates, if you yeah. will, right? It, it's a great way to think about it. And you know, the beauty of what you just described, Dorit, is that in CS, we do that anyway. Mm -hmm. You have to do it. We, yeah. Everyone needs a customer journey. One way or the other, your mm -hmm. customers are going on a journey with you. Totally. The more you can facilitate it, the more you can provide value along the way, education, content, training, the more effective you are uh, at creating uh, successful customers. What we're looking to do is create that one experience, a consistent experience through the journey, where you get the education, the guidance, the networking, the growth that you need to drive value, and at the end of the day, you know, when you're ready, you can advocate, you know, either along the way or as an outcome. But I, I actually think advocacy is part of the journey. It's not necessarily just an end point. So if I get this right, before you used your platform, Influitive, to get the ones that are ready to be advocates, be in the system and learn about new content that they can advocate about, now you're leveraging the system to actually promote content that will drive higher engagement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually it's not just us, but some of our, our best and most successful customers are thinking about advocacy in this way. Mm -hmm. Advocacy not so much as an outcome or something I do only with a handful of my customers, mm -hmm. but actually as a, a journey, right? It's something that I, I need to discover who's ready to advocate. Right. I need to then be able to nurture those people. If they're not ready to advocate, I need to, a way to nurture them too, mm -hmm. right? And then eventually mobilize them but again, when they're ready. And so we're using the platform and source some of our best customers to 
really think about this holistically rather than passing the customer off to different teams, different departments. Do you have like a journey uh, defined with milestones and stages or a score that you give them as how ready they are to be an advocate? We do, so we have a journey yeah. and, we, cool. and that journey is constantly evolving. Yeah. It's data driven, it's mm -hmm. input driven. We, we uh, you know, I, I don't think as much as, you know, it's a, it's a structured concept, it's never complete. But we, we have a well-defined journey that we follow, and we use the platform to support that as well uh, throughout. And then, you know, in terms of uh, advocacy, the readiness to advocate, uh, that comes along with, uh, you know, following the journey, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we capture inputs based on uh, CSATs, say at different points in time. We do NPS. We understand, uh, we talk to our customers, you know, we understand when they're ready uh, to advocate and there are certain triggers. And, um, we, uh, we're constantly evolving those too. So our goal is to make them successful, happy, and ready to advocate. And uh, you know, it's not so much pushing, pushing, pushing to right. you know go go and uh, share a story. Yeah, you know, it's, it's got to be natural. They got to be ready to do it. Awesome. So that's why we're focused so much on customer engagement and really, you know, discovering and nurturing those people according to what they need, so that then they you know become uh, that that passionate advocate. Yeah, I think a lot of my customers uh, have the challenge of how do you shore up the right content at the right time to the right customer. Yep. So how do you deal with that? That's, that always seems to be a little bit of a challenge. And also, um, when I say right content, I think there's two types of contents. One is the one that uh, promotes value and just value awareness, if you will. And then the other one is how to realize that value so that they don't just think about it as a concept, but they actually have a step-by-step -step approach that they can implement it quickly and then enjoy those benefits. Amazing. So <laughs> you're not gonna be able to solve everything, yes. right content, right time. So what we do is we look for you know, the, the, the lower hanging fruit, so to speak. So we know every customer is gonna go through onboarding. They need mm -hmm. to consume certain training at right. certain times. We know that there are certain guides. We want to ensure that they get the basics. So yeah. in the platform through what we call an experience, mm -hmm. which can actually be a whole journey in itself uh, of consuming different content. Once you've consumed one item, it unlocks oh. the challenge to consume the next thing. Oh. And so we can actually so you create gamify a, it. It's gamified. That's yeah. cool. So you create a, basically a content or education consumption journey. And it's a path. And it's a path. So we use the platform to support our whole onboarding process. So that's actually yeah. an experience in itself. Right, and so what you're doing again, one place mm -hmm. to find all this. So in yeah. the onboarding experience, we provide the right content, the right uh, recommendations for training uh, to support onboarding. Mm -hmm. After that, there's new experience, and it's so it's constantly something we can add to. And yeah. if we need to ad hoc, we'll put out a challenge for that too. So I have a few clients where they have maybe just hundreds of clients, but each client might have thousands of users. So I think by gamifying the onboarding, anytime a new user comes in. Even if you have a thousands, of, I mean, a CSM cannot cater to all thousands of users. That's right. So this way you can essentially scale customer success at the user level. That's a great way to think about it. And uh, our CSMs get better insights into where our customers are at, right? And so, and, you know, it's, so it's, are they consuming the, uh, the right content? Are they uh, progressing through the, uh, uh, the, the onboarding process, right? So it's a compliment. This isn't, you know, the customer success platform per mm -hmm. se, uh, but it's an engagement oh, layer to drive that more consistent experience. The added benefit is at the end of the day, those customers are in one place where they're ultimately also gonna advocate. You know, advocacy is something we love to see, but the goals for the teams are more about value, the success of our customers, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Everything else comes from that. Right. But we got to make sure that uh, they're getting or they're on track to, do, to deliver value. All right, guys, if you want to hear more about how Influtive can help uh, drive engagement or make your advocacy program a lot more efficient, they actually have a conference this December. It's called AdvoCamp. Isn't it in San Francisco? It is. It is. December. I know, because I've been to one just last year. So it's a really great conference. I highly recommend if you're thinking about scaling your customer success teams, it's not just for advocacy, it's also for engagement and helping gamify the onboarding process. Or you can contact Jesse. <laughs>
<laughs> I think. Of course, anytime, uh, of course. anytime. I'd love to hear from you. You can, you can add, <laughs> add Twitter to me. I'm at, at Irene Ezips or at CSF Practice. Anything else? No, it's great. It's, 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 I appreciate the conversation. <laughs> it's all about advocacy, but customer engagement is the key, and that's how we're thinking about it now. It's more efficient. Customer engagement is how you nurture your customers, not just to advocacy, but also to get the outcomes that they want. Right? And that's the key. Right? That's Absolutely. value for life. Love it. All, All right, right well, guys. Thanks, You're welcome. Bye.